Hi, I'm Catherine Milne. I'm a publisher here at HarperCollins and the head of fiction, and I am here talking to John Purcell about his fantastic novel, The Girl on the Page. And it is a novel about novels. This is a novel about writing, about books, about literature, and also very wickedly about the publishing industry. John, your background is books, you work at Booktopia, but you've got a, a longer, deeper background in books than that. Is that where the novel comes from? A lot of it comes from my life in the secondhand book world. It's a different world. Um, and the people who come in, uh, uh, you know, the ones that I would be in long discussions with, who saw someone, a young person having a bookshop and thought, ah, I can lead these people and this, this guy in the right direction. Um, I was taught by these older, older readers. They were brilliant. They came in and they spoke about literature. They led me in my, my way. They were my university. So um, yes, <laughs> this book has been in me for a long time um, and it has definitely come out of that experience with these great older readers who were you know, my teachers. Yeah. And tell us a little bit about the book. It features a young editor called Amy and Amy is trouble with a capital T, isn't she? And then she meets these literary giants, Malcolm and Helen. Tell I us couldn't, about I, the story. I, yeah, Amy was with me for a long time. Um, she popped in my head when I was listening to Amy Winehouse many, many years ago on Back to Black. And that, um, that despair at someone having done, done wrong in love, having, uh, having cheated or having um, done something bad, uh, and then the spiral downwards, I loved it. I found it very attractive. I found it very, um, uh, there was a story right there and I didn't know what to do with her um, and when I introduced her to Malcolm and and, um, and, and Helen I, I had a story. Amy is um, she is the, the, the success story of publishing. She is where all the big bucks go. She makes the money. She makes the money so she's the sort of the secret behind um, you know the, the sort of the best sellers of, of people like um, Lee Child and um, mm -hmm. Uh, and Matt Riley and these kind of writers um, and she she has spent all her life obsessed with the bestsellers so she as a young woman she read you know Gone with the Wind and Thornbirds and all these books that sold millions around the world and tried to work out what it was what were the pieces that the came formula. together yeah the formula mm. um, and for, for her she felt she's cracked it mm. but then she meets Malcolm and Helen who are very different yeah well see at the base of, of, of Amy they're there is something missing. There's all this greatness. She's done all the things she set out to do, and she did it really early. Um, but uh, having having broken the love of her life's heart, um, uh, she sort of went off in, a, in the opposite direction to try and erase um, you know, what she felt was shameful, but I think she wouldn't quite admit it to herself. And so she erased it and ran off in a different direction and tried to put all that stuff behind her, and all, the, all the sort of more, more literary dreams and her more uh, the, the more authentic side to her, she put it away and she smashes right into Malcolm and Helen when she's asked to fix Helen's book and within her is awoken you know, these, these old values I suppose. Mm -hmm. So in the end I found this book so moving because it made me think about the power of great books and what they do to you. So tell me very quickly what, what great literature means to you. Um, well, I, I, I feel that it's transformative. I think that um, literature is a way to, to understand this world that is clearer than any other format, any, any other way, way of understanding it. It's virtual reality at its highest, highest form. Mm -hmm. um, morality, ethically, um, it, this talks about love, it talks about philosophy, it talks about um, history, it talks about society as it is and, and, and in a universal way. Um, and, I think that it, it, the literature is, for, for, for me, the, the, pretty much the, the key that unlocks this life and it's, it's, it's always there and, and because life is always changing and you mature and as you get older, there's always books to help you understand the next step. Yeah, 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 exactly. Okay, thank you.